Understanding the phrase, back to the wall, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting English phrase, back to the wall. This phrase is widely used in various contexts, and understanding its meaning and usage can really enhance your English language skills. So, let's dive in and find out what it means when someone says they have their back to the wall. First, let's look at the literal meaning of back to the wall. Imagine standing with your back against a wall. In this position, you cannot move backward any further. This imagery is the foundation of the phrase's metaphorical meaning. It's important in language learning to connect literal images with figurative expressions as it aids in remembering and understanding them. Now, let's explore the figurative meaning of back to the wall. When someone says they have their back to the wall, it means they are in a difficult situation with very limited options or resources. It's used to describe a scenario where a person is under pressure and facing challenges with no easy way out. This phrase can be applied in various contexts, from personal struggles to business challenges. Understanding a phrase also involves seeing how it's used in sentences. Let's look at some examples. 1. During the negotiations, I really had my back to the wall and had to make some tough decisions. 2. With the deadlines approaching, the team felt like they had their backs to the wall. These examples show how the phrase can be used to describe stressful situations where the speaker feels cornered or pressured. To broaden your understanding, it's helpful to know similar phrases or synonyms. Phrases like, in a tight spot, between a rock and a hard place, and, up against it, convey similar meanings. Knowing these can enrich your vocabulary and give you alternative ways to express the same idea. I hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and usage of the phrase, back to the wall. Remember, mastering a language involves learning its idioms and expressions, which are key to sounding like a native speaker. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use, back to the wall, in your conversations when you're describing a challenging situation. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.